The foreign rivals I chose was between German and Netherlands soccer teams. They've played only 40 times in about 100 years, and Germany has the edge on the Netherlands by five wins. The rivalry mainly started after World War II due to the Germans' takeover during the time, and the Dutch weren't happy with the family members being taken from the players on the team, so they used that anger on the field. They haven't played in about five years, but are still rivals to this day. The domestic rivalry I chose was between Kentucky and Duke basketball. They've played only 21 times in the past 80 years, and Kentucky has the edge 12 to 9. Duke and UK have always been the powerhouse teams in the NCAA, so it was always a good game when it happened, but it rarely does, and usually only in tournaments. One of the defining moments in the rivalry was the shot by Christian Leitner that ruined Kentucky's chances to win it in 1992. And since then, it's safe to say each team is not a fan of one another. The way they differ is, of course, Germany and Netherlands had an off-the-field conflict that helped create the rivalry, while Kentucky and Duke used the pure competitive nature of being better than one another on the court throughout the season and maybe play each other in the tournament. Germany is also la located exactly next to the Netherlands, while Duke and Kentucky are further in ways from each other. The ways they're similar is that both rivalries fuel almost a hatred to each other, in each game they play against one another, it's like the Super Bowl to them, the biggest game. You get 110% from both teams whenever they play. They also both have huge followings from each of the team's fan base that helps create the hype of each team's rivalry. Kentucky and the Netherlands also see themselves as the good guys, while Duke and Germany are the bad guys.